indeed it's it's Wednesday morning and I got to go to work butterfly I hate this part I hate leaving her it makes me so sad but I'll be back in just a few hours it'll be be here before you know it it's Wednesday hump day a short week our office is closed on Friday and so I only have today and tomorrow left and then it's cruise ship time wedding time so excited Good morning, YouTube, tubers, and aloha. I'm gonna just throw it all out there one time. Good morning, aloha. You know who you are, and thanks for watching. I'm having my first cup of coffee. Shocked. Uh, had a great show last night. Did a show here on the ship in the main room. Did the adult show, which just was amazing. I had so much fun got a standing ovation thank you thank you but uh, yeah I slept I slept almost 10 hours that was pretty amazing I didn't really sleep 10 hours straight they did all these ship drills that woke me up for like an hour and I laid there awake and then go back to sleep so it was interrupted sleep but I, I'm okay now I'll be great after that coffee I'll be super great but anyway, um, the bad news is I woke up this morning to a, uh, a text from my sister that my cousin had died, and uh, Sean was a great, great person. I don't know if you ever know anybody that was almost just too good to be true. Super heart, super person, uh, just like a walking human church lady. I mean, everything was like, Mm, should do that you know that kind of mm, God won't be happy with you is that what, what Jesus would want for you I just remember her being so nice and so perfect and so so missed she'll be so missed but anyway I don't want to bring the, the blog down I just want you guys to know kind of what goes on in real life and uh, but you know I'm out here on the ship there can't much can't do much about it right now, so my sister is taking care of uh, a lot of stuff. So it's glad to have, just glad to have family to do things like that when you're out at sea. All right, now I'm gonna drink my coffee, and I won't bring you down anymore. Okay. Holy, holy crap! I woke up. You know, you you saw the whole video. I got coffee. I sat down on that chair. I decided to do some work. I was writing on the phone and my laptop. Uh, got another coffee, so I had two two big coffees. Decided maybe I should walk upstairs. It's dark. <laughs> it's dark. I spent four hours sitting at a table drinking coffee, and the day disappeared. This is this is dusk here in the Bahamas. There's a ship next to us over there. I'll walk over and take a look at that. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Good. I like your show last Thank night. You. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. You're Appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. So, yeah, there's the, there's the big Norwegian ship right next to us. I guess they're getting ready to go. Oh, let me, if I can run back here, I'll try to catch the, the sunset. Hey, there's people. There's people eating. I haven't eaten all day. It is five o'clock in the afternoon, almost six actually, and I haven't eaten all day. But let's let's see if I can try to find. Them. I'm starving. I am starving. Better hurry if I'm going to try to catch any. Oh, there's the Johnny Rockets. You know, I've been on this ship for three days, and that's the first time I've seen the Johnny Rockets. I know a lot of the food is free on the ship. This isn't, but I might kind of have to spend get a good burger that'd be good well their pizza pizza is open I had that last night before bed and I wonder why I'm 20 pounds heavy I might just have to do that I don't know I'm starving I can't think I'm smelling the nice wood fire from.
did it. I did it after a long, long day of trying to get a lot of stuff packed into one day. I still made it to the gym. I took the excuses and I threw them out the window. Yep, yep, go me, go me. I did an hour on the elliptical and then I had a stop and get gas at a 7-Eleven and I found these, I'm hungry, and they're pickle bites. I had to, I'm so hungry, so. I didn't want to get home and make bad choices, so I got a healthy snack. But I do have to tell you, I was very tempted. In 7-Eleven, they had um, edible cookie dough. Oh my God. I have a feeling that one day I'm gonna break down because this 7-Eleven is on the way home from the gym to the house, so. <laughs> Stay strong, Janet, stay strong. I'm gonna head home and make some dinner and go to bed. I'm tired. So tired. Not mine. Hey. And good morning. I'm walking down the hall here on the on the ship. I already had my coffee, as you saw. I thought I'm not gonna show that again, but now I'm walking around the ship. And uh, I've got to find out what time the ship leaves today. I might actually get off of it. I'm not sure, but I'm about to go find out. I love that. Love that Hawaiian Christmas song. It's first I've seen this. Lens off. That actually looks a little better. These look nothing like the gingerbread houses that Janet and I made. Corona. And for the first time in two days, he walks off the ship. But not enough time to get off. <laughs> They're gonna last tender over to the dock is in 25 minutes. So that's the last tender coming back on me. So I've missed that too. All right, well, that's the way it goes. When people die on the ship, they load them into these pods and then shoot them overboard for a burial at sea. Pretty cool, huh? Every bit of that was a lie. I have no idea what those are. Good idea though, huh? And I'm finally eating lunch. Yeah. I'm having a, a fruit bowl, roasted chicken, those are pork strips and some curry rice. If don't fill up, I might make a second trip. Oh, and coffee. Are you shocked? Coffee. Are you shocked? Right. 
and Santa is being led by his head elf, Twinkletoes. We are very excited. Twinkletoes is leading him. Ladies and gentlemen, put your together for our Caribbean Santa Claus. by family because he is diabetic as you probably already know if you've watched previous vlogs and he requires insulin shots every um, well twice a day and that's just too much to put on a house sitter so here we go hello I dropped the cat dropped rain off with the fam Damily I'm gonna miss him tonight I miss his cuddles but I have the bee fly the butterfly. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, bee fly. Now I'm home. Yay. On my way home, I stopped by CVS and got some last minute things that I needed for packing. Um, pow face powder. Um, I got some mascara. Dramamine, just in case. I've never been on a cruise ship, so you never know. What else did I get? Oh. It's right here. Look in the bag, Janet. Got some nail polish. I'm going to try and paint my toenails tonight. That's the plan. But the ultimate goal is to finalize my packing outside of the very last minute things like hair dryer, hair straightener and stuff that will be placed in the suitcase tomorrow. So I think the hardest part about packing, and I have been packing all week, all the clothes I think that I want to take are in the suitcase. Making an adult beverage just to chill. Squirrel. Um, I've been packing all week. Now I need to go through my bathroom stuff. I have a lot of like samples and stuff that I save for times when I travel like this. And I just have to go through and decide what I want slash need. And I started to do that and then I came down and I was like, I need, I need a Malibu and diet just to chill so I can get through this. Pray for me. This is what the bathroom looks like, and I swear it didn't look this bad when I came in here tonight. Those are all the boxes I put all my travel stuff in. This is my travel stuff. And I know I overpacked, don't judge me. This side's all the shower stuff, the face washes, the body washes, shampoos, conditioner, shave cream, razor. This side's the makeup side. And then I have my, my side bag that will be used for the stuff that couldn't fit in here. Goodness, Janet. But I, got I love my Grace. How big? Going out. There's my Grace book. We're There's my Grace on YouTube. Other than that, yeah. there I don't you know. Are. I have a very active. I moved the packing into the spare bedroom. And look at all those hangers. Look at that. That is the second suitcase. The first suitcase has made its way downstairs by the front door I weighed it it is 10 pounds under the max so I think I'm doing good I have received so many cute wedding gifts and um, I'm packed some um, that maybe you'll see along our journey um, but I wanted to show you this one they're luggage tags butterfly so excited okay let's try this again they're luggage tags for the bride and the groom. Now, I'm meeting my groom in Florida. You think he'll add this to his luggage? Let's see. That's going to be one of my carry-ons. It's glitter. And that will be my other carry-on. Oh, yeah. 